Hi guys, you're welcome to Delores Studios. We'll be talking about transferring data in Android using the Sync Adapter. Synchronizing data between your Android app and web servers could be significantly useful and compelling for users. It comes with a bunch of advantages. It's a plugin architecture. It's automated execution. It automatically detects network and it improves battery performance. We'll be using the MovieDB API as the data source and we'll be creating the sync architecture around this. So let's get started. Implementing a sync adapter in Android comes with a package, sync. We'll be learning some of its classes like authenticator, authenticator service, sync adapter, and sync service. But we need to start firstly from the database. Let's take a dive back to our API to know how our data structure is going to look like. From the moviedb.org, you get uh, the top rated. We have the link structured this way with your API key locked in at the end of the URL. You have a bunch of JSON, which you can use a JSON formatter to actually decode and dive deeper into the JSON structure. If you notice, we have an object which starts the JSON with its primitive types, page, total results, total pages, and we have the results in array that houses other bunch of objects. And here we come with the top rated movie we are digging deeper into. We're going to be using the vote average, the poster part, the original title, and the overview as our data source. So back to Android Studio. Now we know how we know what we're calling and uh, how we're going to structure out our contract and DBA helper. Let's get to look at the contract. Should be familiar with this by now. Uh, this here we declare our content authority because we are still going to be using a provider. We have the base content URI, which are uh, apps we use to contact the content provider. But we pass the link, the content column slash slash with this content authority. We create the string path of the movies and uh, we implement the base columns. Uh, this is a static inner class called movie entry. In this class, uh, we set up the content URI to assess the movie data in the provider. We have the content list type. We'll be using all this in the provider, uh, which is the MIPE type of a list of movie and uh, where we declare the cost, the cost of directory base type with its authority and the part of to the movies, that's the table. We have for the single movie and for the whole movies. That's just the basic structure of declaring your contract. And this for a single movie. We set up the name of the database called movie and we declare all needed fields the base column, which is the ID, definitely the incremented ID. The title, which uh, we're getting from the JSON. Let's get to look at over here. The keys, these are what we actually call because JSON has its structure in key value pairs. So pointing at each key, we can easily tie its values. Uh, the user rating, post part, and plot synopsis. So we've been able to create a structure for our database. Let's get to look at the DB helper. We extend the SQLite open helper. Uh, this is a tag for console, uh, for talking that's printing to the console. 
a constructor over here and uh, you need to implement two methods as we all know the onCreate and on upgrade. In the onCreate you have the ability to create your table uh, since you can easily declare the string called create the movie table and in here this is basic, a basic SQL uh, syntax where we create the table we concatenate with the table name and we declare the columns needed and the uh, appropriate data type we have for the ID integer it's a primary key and it's auto incremented for title user rating user rating it's a real data type and shouldn't be null. Therefore, for the first part, plot synopsis and title or text data type. You call on the DB to execute the SQL, which is the rate movie table SQL string. And we we'll definitely log this to get the callback in the console. If it's successful and on upgrade, that says if you drop the table, you will create another one. That says it all. So this is just how to create uh, your simple uh, contract and DB helper to have your data structure for any starting point of a database driven application. In our next tutorial, we'll be talking about the provider and uh, we'll get to look at the GZ aspect, which is the sync data, it's a service and so on. So catch me up in the next part.